this video you can find out how to connect your sales channel to your account on something different connect so that you can list products in bulk and automate orders pricing and stock levels to get started you either need to sign in to your account or register for a new one we've already created a test account so we're just going to go ahead and log in once you've logged in, the first thing that you need to do is to update your settings. So if you go to settings and then account settings, here you'll need to input all the information about your business. This is just so that we've got the correct contact information about you, should we ever need to contact you about an order. Once you've filled this information in, just click save. The next step is to then enter a default payment method. Entering a default payment method will ensure that once your order imports into Connect from your sales channel, it's automatically paid for so that the order comes through to us as soon as possible. So to add a default payment method, just click Add. This will take you through to Trust Payments. No payment will actually be taken at this point. You'll just need to select your card type, to your information. So as you can see this has added the card information here so if you just hover over the card number and click it it will ask you to set this as your default payment method and just click OK and then click save. Now that you've added your default payment method the next step is to look for products that you'd like to sell. So you can do this by using the search bar if you're looking for something specific so if we just type in house you'll see different options for this. You can also explore by product type or you can explore by themes. And if you're looking for products exclusive to us that's something different, you can explore our ranges, which have all been designed and developed by us. Here is something different. Some of our most popular categories, if you're just getting started, are new in and best sellers. And once you find something that you'd like to sell, you just need to click the source button and anything that you source will be added to your My Products list. The My Products list is a great place to get an overview of all of the items that you've sourced. You'll see the image of the product, the SKU, the product title, the cost price, which is what you pay us for the item, the stock level, and the date that you source the item. Once you've connected your sales channels, they will also appear here and you'll be able to see what you've uploaded to which sales channel which is so if you decide that you want to sell certain products on certain platforms my products is a good place to get an overview of everything that you've decided to sell if at any time you'd like to stop selling a certain item you can come in here and tick the item and click unsource just bear in mind that you would also need to delete the product manually from your selected sales channel. Now that you've chosen products that you'd like to sell, you can connect your sales channel. So to do this, just go to settings, sales channel integrations, and add sales channel. And if you just scroll to the integration that you'd like to add, and then just click the add button next to it. In this video I'm going to show you how to integrate your Wix store. So if you just scroll down to Wix and then click add, click I understand and accept and then click next. And this will take you through to the Wix app store and you'll see the app is called Avasam. And Avasam are our developers um, and have created the Wix app for us. So if you just click add to site. It will ask you different permissions for the app, so to manage orders, manage products, and read basic site and business info. And if you're happy with that, click agree and add. And this will just prompt you to log back into your Connect store. So if you just scroll down and click log in, and then it will say integration successful, I'll just click next. And that's your Wix store integrated. 
Now that you've connected your Wix store, the next step is to complete a few additional settings just to finish the setup. To do this, click the pencil icon to edit the integration. The first thing we have is shipping mapping, and if you click the shipping mapping tool, this will open up a new window. Wix is a little more complicated than some of our other integrations. As you'll see here in the first drop down box, it's currently blank. Whereas with some of our other integrations, it pulls through a list of the shipping services you've configured on your store. To get this to pull through your shipping services, what you'll have to do is go away from this screen, go to your Wix store, place a test order for one of our products, apply shipping to it, and then let it import into your Connect Orders dashboard. The order will fail because there's no shipping service configured for it, but once that order imports, it will pick up that shipping service that you have on your store and it will show here in this drop down menu and you need to repeat that for any of the shipping services you want to configure for our products however it's worth bearing in mind we do only offer one shipping service currently which is um, every 48 hours fully tracked for UK mainland 72 hours for Highlands and Ireland so once that's imported you'll need to come back to this mapping screen, select it from the drop down, select our service from the drop down and click map field and save. And then the next order that imports from your store into Connect will be successful and the delivery will apply uh, successfully. Other settings you can configure now is SKU mapping. So from the action available, just click auto map. And what that will do is when you list products from Connect into your store, you'll be using the Connect SKUs, our product SKUs, and it just ensures that when an order comes through for one of our products, we know which item that is to put in the order. In the additional settings, we recommend using these settings, so we exclude non-SD Connect orders. This is useful if you stock products from other suppliers and you don't want those getting imported into your orders dashboard on Connect and cluttering up your order screen with items which we're not fulfilling. Stock update, if you want this to be automated, tick this to yes. Price, if we ever change our prices here on Connect, if you want your prices to automatically update too, tick this to yes max quantity to advertise this is a useful feature if you display the stock available quantity on your store because we have as a wholesaler we hold quite a large number of stock you may not want those numbers pulling through onto your store um, as in some cases we might have thousands of units available for any one item if you want to limit that threshold so perhaps the max you wanted to ever display is 50 um, or 40 you just type that number into the box and once the stock level for that item reaches that quantity it will start to count down in real amounts so it will go from 40 to 39 it will be in real time and then stock threshold value this is something like a buffer so if you wanted an item to get marked out of stock before it reaches zero you could put that quantity in here so you might want to wait until it gets to five and when it gets to five it gets marked as out of stock on your store so it just puts a bit of a buffer in place to prevent overselling and once you're happy with those settings you can just click save now you're ready to start listing products on your store to do this go to listing manager and here you'll see an overview of any sales channels you've connected. Alongside Wix here we can see the name of the Wix store, order sync, price sync and stock sync. These are all green ticks which means that everything's connected and working as it should. If you've only just integrated these may show as orange arrows or if you've chosen not to enable price sync and stock sync in the additional settings of your sales channel integration, these will show as grey ticks. So click the plus icon to see what date an integration last ran and the time. And then scroll across to the right and click listings to view your listing dashboard. So here you'll see everything that you've chosen to list in something different connect. You can see a project image, the SKU, 
the product title and you can click in this box to edit this description you can view by clicking this blue icon and again you can click in the box edit this and then click update to save any changes you can see the stock level the cost price which is what you pay us for the product and you can toggle this yes or no to show it including or excluding that you can see the shipping by clicking this blue box icon and as an example this product weighs 2.58 kilograms which means it fits into this bracket so you'll pay us 5.99 including VAT to deliver this item to your customer you can see the selling price for the product which you can either edit manually or you can create a pricing rule to uplift the price of your products by a set percentage or monetary amount and we'll show you how to create a pricing rule in just a moment you can see the category that it sits in on the Connect website and in the conditions you can apply any conditions that you've set up on your Wix store these will pull through here into the drop down such as new in for example and then status a blue cloud means it hasn't yet been listed and a green tick means it has been listed on your store so when you're ready to list something just scroll down just tick the item and click list and then we'll see that this is loading and then it will change to a green tick and then if we go over to our Wix store and just refresh the page we can see that items now being imported just bear in mind if you are trying to import a number of products depending on the amount that you're trying to import the longer it can take after some time if you are regularly listing products one way to easily view what you have and haven't listed yet is to use the filter so say if you on a Monday want to import a batch of new products you could use the status not listed and apply and this will show you everything you haven't yet listed so you can easily select all and click list in one neat batch if you'd like to automate your prices instead of updating them manually you can do this by clicking the automate your prices button here and in this example we're just going to show you using a Shopify store as this pricing rules are the same for all the sales channel integrations so for the rule name you'll want to use something which is easily identifiable in case you create multiple different pricing rules in future. The source will pull through any sales channels that you've connected, so in this example we're just going to use Shopify. And the subsource will pull through any different Shopify stores that you've integrated. So if you've added more than one Shopify store, the different options would be available in this drop down. And the currency is GBP. Apply to all suppliers is yes. Apply to all categories could be yes or no. If you selected no, you could you know, change the uplift for different categories on your store. Um, as an example, you may decide to have a sale category and apply a lower uplift to the products in that category. For this example, we're just gonna leave this setting as yes to apply to all products. The price increase can be done by either a percentage amount, so in this example we're going to just add 100% uplift, or it could be a fixed monetary value, so for example £2. You can choose to include the shipping cost within the product listing price. If you'd like to do this, you can tick this to yes. And here's our expedited track service. And then you can also round up the product prices to say 50p or 99p. And then when you're happy with those settings, just tick please acknowledge and save. And then here you can see your pricing rule, but you can edit at any time by clicking the pencil icon. You can also delete it or you can toggle the status so it's on or off. And then if we go back into Listing Manager, again we'll just show the Shopify example. 
we can see that the selling price has been greyed out so it can't be edited manually and it has the auto icon here so we know that this has been controlled by a pricing rule. You can keep track of your orders here in the orders dashboard which is available here just in the left hand menu. This will show you each of the orders and whether the order has been paid for or not. If the pound symbol is green it means that the order has been paid for. If it's red it means the order hasn't been paid for just yet. And you can easily pay for the order by clicking the three dots and selecting pay order. From this menu you can also view more details about the order, edit the order or raise a ticket. But please note if you do choose to edit the order it may possibly be too late and the order has been sent through for picking and packing. If you'd like to edit an order we always recommend contacting our customer care team as soon as possible. On this dashboard you can also see where the order came from so if you see our something different connect logo that order was added manually. If it came through an integration you'll see the Shopify logo or eBay logo or whichever channel the order came from. If you've connected the sales channel and you've come here to the orders dashboard to check on the status of the orders and you've set up a default payment method but the pound symbol is still red, you can just hover over the pound symbol and it will tell you what the error is with the order. Sometimes it might be that there was an error with processing the card payment or perhaps it might be for another reason such as a problem with mapping the delivery services. So this is a great place to come and troubleshoot any errors with orders. From here you can also look at returns. If you've requested any returns, just click here and these will be listed so that you can follow and track the status. So this brings us to the end of everything you need to get started on something different connect. If you have any further questions or require any more information, you can find links to our FAQs page and also our help center available here in the footer of the website. The Help Centre contains lots of helpful articles on all the different tools and settings available in Connect. Or if you need to reach out to us, you can find details on our Contact Us page. We're open from 8.30 to 4.30, Monday to Friday.